Do you all hear that? Not my son, but the dripping. Man, that's annoying. So I quickly grabbed Nolan's Bible because it was the closest one. And in Proverbs it says, a continual dropping in a very rainy day and a contentious woman are alike. So basically contentious just being quarrelsome, naggy, unkind, not a fun person to be around. And I really hate to admit it, but I was I was this this woman this week. Let me tell you a story. So right back through this door beside our steps is a narrow hallway. So when we got married, we decided we're gonna put our books there, and we had a lot of books. We just bought this little small cheesy bookshelf. All our books did not fit, and so our book accumulation just started piling up. It looked terrible back there. Anyway, so it was on our mind that we wanted to do something different with this. I really like the look of this one style book shelf. It had like the old pipes, but we looked into that and we realized it's gonna take way too much time and money. And so my next thought was I wanted to use the same piping and just have little mounting brackets for them and have thick wood slabs for the shelves. It was just too expensive. So we decided to just go with like regular shelf brackets. So he started, he's just doing an amazing job. He's really good at putting the shelves together. I went out and watched him. The wood shelves are just really nice. Um, for not being actual thick slabs of wood. And then when it came to staining, he asked what color I wanted. So I wanted kind of like that medium light stain, but then he brought out the point that because it's a pine wood, it would turn more of a yellow orange, and I hate that color in wood. And so we had some dark stain on hand, and we decided to go with dark. Technically, dark wasn't my first pick, but once again, it's what we had, and I didn't want a yellow looking so he went with dark stain and it, it was looking fine, it was looking great. Then he said, you know what, he wants to put an epoxy finish on this so that it's like a smooth finish for the books to slide on. And I wasn't thinking much of it. I wish I would have been thinking ahead and been like, you know what, I would really prefer you just leave it wood. So he went to so much work with this epoxy. It took so much time. Epoxy is really hard to do. So there's like runs and drips and like dips and bubbles in it. And it's a really glossy finish. And I'm not a fan of high gloss at all. So up rises this ugly person within me. And I don't know why I cannot just hide my feelings, it's just like written all over my face. So I hadn't really thought much about this epoxy finish until the day that he was mounting the shelves. So let me back up a little bit. It was a Saturday morning and this is how the day started. My dear husband had let me sleep in. He had Xander downstairs. I get out of bed and um, I hear this pounding and banging downstairs. I'm like, yay, I think he's putting up the bookshelf. So I'm headed down the stairs and what do you think the first words out of my mouth were? Good morning, how are you? Thanks for letting me sleep in. Uh -uh. So what did I tell my hardworking man that was working right here in the hallway? Please don't tell me you're using the gold screws. Nolan has these gold screws that he uses for everything and he was hanging these decorative black brackets for the shelves. Why I didn't just keep my mouth shut and not even mention, especially the first thing in the morning and in the, in the way that I said it, please don't tell me you're using the gold screws. <sighs> anyway, he had bought black paint and he was going to paint them and I could have easily done that later and I could tell it, yeah, it was just kind of like that first drip of water, <laughs> the leaky roof, I guess. Do you want to use that analogy? Anyway, and he's putting this up. Help Daddy. You're helping Daddy. Thanks, and I was just loving it. I was loving the whole layout. I'm like, these shelves, like this idea that we had is just perfect. Goes up the whole way to the ceiling, over the doorway. We have lots of space for our books. It takes up useless hallway space. Still gives us room to walk past. And I really like the look of everything, except this epoxy finish and it was just gnawing at me and gnawing at me and I would go over and look at it and this glossiness it would glare and you can hardly even see the wood underneath and he can always tell when something's bugging me he's like what is it now of course I was over on Google but like okay is there a way we can sand this out people were saying yes you can sand out epoxy so I'm like could we at least try and he got this look on his face like oh great I thought this was gonna be a quick project now it's gonna take all day and we probably won't even get done so so he went out and he tried sanding this. Anyway, it got scuffed up and cloudy and you can see that. He said it won't 
gloss clear. There was my second mistake. I tried to fix the first and I made it worse. And we were sitting there after he had worked for a while and we were sitting on the floor looking up at this bookshelf. He's like, you don't like it. And he looked over at me, what is it? Finally, I'm like, I just feel so bad about this epoxy. You know, you put all this time and effort in it and I just, yeah, it's just not really a favorite of mine or whatever. And that whole day, I was just acting like, yeah, a not nice wife to be around, that's for sure. My first comment coming down the stairs and then immediately pretty much asking him, can you please try sanding out this epoxy? Not being very nice about that. And I could just tell it was like I took a pin and just pricked him and all his uh, energy and all the ambition he had for this project just completely went out of him and it was like I deflated him. Why are we women like this? At least I am, you all probably aren't. He did an incredible job and I love him for it and he is seriously the most amazing husband I could ever ask for. And so I'm like, why does this inner, just naggy wife come out of me? So I just feel bad how I kind of just, yeah, that woman that no one wants to be around. And I think there's something in us women that just want to nag and nitpick and just be condescending. And I hate seeing it in other women and yet it rises up. It just, it's just a natural thing no matter how much you love your man. It just seems like it's naturally there when something doesn't go quite right. Maybe you all aren't like this. You probably aren't. It's just me. It's something I'm trying to work on. So it's life. We're all human. But with God's help, hopefully we can get there sometime. So it's time that I shout out to the world the amazing talents and the amazing husband that I have. So come with me outside. So I think that I have the world's best husband. See this swing I'm sitting on? So I got this off of a Facebook marketplace and redid it and my amazing husband helped me hang it. Let me just show you a little bit where I'm at. That was a very minor project. Let me grab my coffee here and show you a little bit around the place. You like my Normandy mug? Came from our trip this last fall. You can see behind me this needs replanted. We put in a new furnace this year and so the whole back of this house is a mess. Our house is slowly getting redone. Nolan is working at it, trying to paint it, put in new windows and it's taking quite a while so that's why the back of the house always looks like it needs work. All right so quick story. Uh, when we first got married uh, we moved here. This is actually my dad's farm. Uh, but we get to treat it like our own. Uh, we're kind of renting to own, hopefully in the distant future. Uh, but there was a lot of outbuildings that kind of matched the silo that were gonna be taken down. And there was the cutest little silo with a round roof. And like I am, I got this brainstorm that I wanted to make a garden shed out of this and save the roof because the rest was going to be um, thrown away. I'm like, well, how hard can this be? Um, and then there was another section of the barn that had like a thick fence that we weren't gonna be using. It was like boards probably yay thick. I'm like, well, that would be the perfect floor. So I grabbed my chainsaw and, or Nolan's chainsaw, head on out, start cutting wood. And I'm like, okay, I can easily screw a big slab of wood together. We'll just nail a nail in the middle and hook a string up to it and make a big circle the exact size the roof is and then um the slabs will be thick enough why can't i just screw upright pieces for the walls <laughs> well of course i got into trouble couldn't figure it all out who comes to my rescue my knight in shining armor and he takes on my project and guys do you want to see it Ta-da! a beautiful little garden shed but let me just give you a quick quick look at it right now. Sorry about the coffee cup. Keep in mind this is spring. Things are brown and ugly. But So all the pieces of wood here were taken off some of the buildings that were being torn down. So practically everything was used from like old scrap uh, lumber that like reclaimed wood from the other buildings. And these little windows, I'm forgetting where they came from. It was from one of the buildings. Anyway, and then Nolan made me these cute little window boxes. We made, I forget if I made these or if he did, made these little shutters. Anyway, it's just so cute. And you gotta see the roof. This, the roof was pre-made, which was what gave me the idea. Well, I don't think the roof's actually gonna show up, but maybe you can see it a little bit. It's just so cute. Come. I'll just back up here. Um, but you can tell it should get cleaned again and I should put another coat of finish on the outside. But yeah, there is my little shed. Alright, so the next project. 
Okay, we're gonna be in our garden for a little bit here. So, um, let's just say that I don't thoroughly enjoy gardening. Um, I enjoy it, but once it hits about summertime and all the weeds are starting to come up and I have to keep after, I don't really enjoy it. But if something is beautiful and creative, I can stick with it longer. So, that's my kind of interesting looking garden. So the next project actually has a long story behind it, which I won't go into it. This was like when very first years of marriage caused a little bit of marriage stress because my husband had advised me not to get into any more projects. And at that time I didn't realize that he was like literally serious and that I should have listened to him. And I thought, well, it's not really a big deal. I don't have much going. I can surely get into it and do it myself. And it caused for some marriage strife, which I should have known better at that time. Anyway, but long story short, so I saw this picture somewhere of a really pretty arbor made out of like trees, I guess. Anyway, and I'm like, that is so cute. I want one. Don't I sound like a brat? I either remembered that I had seen some of these, I think it's locust trees. They're small, maybe six inches in diameter. So I hook up my dad's <laughs> little pull behind trailer, just like a regular little trailer behind the pickup. And I grab Nolan's chainsaw and I head out to this field and I start cutting down trees. They're just little ones. They're not big things. They're just little saplings that are only about six inches thick. And trim off the branches and haul them to this trailer and bring them home. I had a whole slew of them. And I start working on this project and I must admit I did pretty much the entire project myself so I was very happy with that. This was probably, what, five, six years ago now? Anyway, and of course then he went and helped me um, get it set up. And then I also wanted a little fence, like beside the arbor. <laughs> I'll show you guys in a minute here. And, um, and so he had to help me uh, make the fence, like dig the holes, put in the trees, and so on. Because some of it was we were running into rocks, and so we put concrete down to make them stable. So, here's my arbor. It's kind of hard to see. Let me get a better view of it here. So there's my arbor and my fence. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll see if I have some pictures of it here in the summertime. It looks a lot nicer. And then <clears throat> for my birthday, these weren't here. Um, and then for one of my birthdays, Nolan surprised me and he mounted these little solar lights on. Um, so they light up. Um, but those weren't there before and uh, I really like this. This is my flower bed along the corner here And then um, and then in there's my garden as you can tell there's a path and uh, That path has another story <laughs> uh, So <clears throat> I wanted a path in my garden because I didn't want just straight rows in my garden I wanted my garden to have rows this way and this way and a little windy path So I went to my cousins. He owns a landscaping business and got some flagstone and I started digging a path. And uh, my husband came home and I was, I forget how far along I was laying these rocks down and I was just desperate. It just had to be done that night. It just had to be done that night. I have, I'm, I'm trying to get over that. This thing that things have to be done now when I get into a project, that's all I can think of until it's finished. I'm trying to get over that. But anyway, so he kindly pitches in and helps me finish laying this rock pathway. I really, really like it. It definitely takes some maintenance, like to keep trying to keep the weeds out. Um, so it goes around and around, and then there's like a circle in the middle. Sorry, that wagon got blown over. And then I'm sure you saw these raised beds. So this just happened last year. Um, this section of my garden is really rocky, and my husband was like, yes, we need to do raised beds, and he just pitched in. We got some old fence boards and uh, he made me these beautiful raised beds that I'd like grow lettuce and things in. Um, I think I have some pictures of last year when it actually looked nice. Trust me, in the summer it got really bad because I was sick and not feeling good and this garden just went kaput. Anyway, so he built me three really nice um, raised beds and then underneath here he dug this all out. We laid down plastic, which some of it's showing through here, and put down like big chip bark so that, um, yeah, I don't have to keep after that. So that's my garden. Those are some of the major projects he's been doing. Well, let me show you some more. So hang on with me here. A bird feeder that matches the birdhouse, which doesn't have any seeds in because <clears throat> I'm really bad at keeping it filled, but anyway. 
bird bird feeder. Nolan helped me build, or he practiced, he built. Bubba, Bubba, please let that go. Xander, Xander, you're gonna drop it on your toesies. Anyway, as far as this rock wall, I didn't show you the whole thing because it's crumbling in a couple places, but I think I have a photo of it when it was uh, one of the years I was the happiest with it, with how it turned out. I really struggle with flower arrangements and how to put them all together. That year was one of my better years. And my sister told me she'd come over and help me put them together this year because she's so good at this kind of thing. A quick story about the rock wall is Nolan, we actually got all those rocks for nothing. We just went out in the field and there's big rock piles where farmers um, took the fields or the, ro the rocks out of the field and put them on a pile. So we just went and dug through those rocks and found ones that we thought would work. That's how we built the rock wall. Or how Nolan built it, I should say. And he chiseled some of the rocks as well. And he just did an amazing job. He is so talented, guys. So yeah, just it's just really fun to see what you can do. And with your husband's amazing help. The shed was pretty much all wood from here. Not quite. Um, obviously, some of the framing and stuff wasn't reclaimed wood. The rock wall, that was free. That was from the field. Um, the arbor, that was from uh, the field somewhere too. Just, just trees. Through the mess, through the mess. This back room, I don't think I've ever showed it to you guys yet. This right here is Nolan's workout gym and my photography studio. I haven't actually used it a whole lot yet and I need to soon after we got it finished, I got really sick and I haven't put it on priority since. Very quickly, I'll show you some pictures. Um, Here's a quick circle if you want to see. It's kind of a rustic wall here. This was a project I did when I was big and pregnant. <laughs> those were like fake brick panels from Lowe's and we put those up and then I just took spackling over it and tried to make it look like, um, actually, sorry, I took drywall mud over it and just tried to make it look, um, yeah, like it was crumbling and such. Oh, and he put this door in for me. Look at this. He built the door, nice rolling door. There's a small closet in there for my photography supplies. Anyway, behind me, you see this big window. When the shop was built, um, that window was not there. It was just these tiny windows like this on the side. There was like two of them or three of them there. I remember I walked into this room and I'm like, there is hardly any natural light. It was really dark, which is not a good thing for photography. And I went on Craigslist and I found this ginormous window. Look at that thing for cheap. I forget what it was, $50 or something. This was like a thousand some dollar window. <laughs> Anyways, when I come up to my husband, I'm like, do you think we could put a window in the shop? The shop was already built. Like it wasn't finished out, but it had studs and windows and whatever. What do you think my amazing husband did? He, we talked about it for a bit and he agreed. We jumped in the truck and went flying an hour and whatever it was to this place, bought the window, brought it back, and he put the window in for me after the shop was built. And now I have this beautiful studio and his workout room. And uh, so when I get back into photography a little more seriously again, I have a place to um, take children's photos. I'm not planning to do adults in here, it's just children for inside pictures. Um, anyway, so I am seriously the most spoiled wife in the world. Why would I ever be hard on him when he does things that don't quite go my way? It's just so selfish. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tour and seeing some of my husband's amazing projects. He's done so many more around this place. He's just incredible. I love him to pieces. And um, I don't know why. I sometimes just let my tongue get the best of me and just harsh words or at least unkind words and not very considerate. So I'm trying to work at that. I just quickly wanted to show you yet the finished product of Nolan's amazing work with the bookshelf. And I also went and ordered some bookends off of Amazon, which I'll have links below. Um, I really like them. They held the heavier books nicely, and um, they were just kind of a clean, simple look without just the standard old, boring looking bookends. And then I had seen one <laughs> that I thought was just pretty funny. Um, and I bought just one bookend for the children's books where it looks like the books are falling down on this little man. He's trying to brace himself for the books coming. Anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. So thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed this and have a great day guys. God bless.
Two five, okay. Can you tell Daddy it's two five? Two five? Oh. Could probably make that work. Look at Bubba! Is this Bubba's new bed? Did Bubba go nine nine? Yeah, Bubba's going nine nine. I got you, buddy. Look at you. I got you, buddy. Yeah! <laughs> Bubba's going nine nine. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. What is it? Let me see. How many is that? Five? Two? Two? 